Hey guys, it's Autumn here, and today we are repainting one of my first ever watercolor paintings, The Galaxy Girl. Uh, I'm pointing out something that I dislike already on the old painting, but I'll talk about the things that I wanted to change in the new one in a minute here. So the original Galaxy Girl painting was done in my senior year of high school. Uh, I was learning how to paint in my drawing and painting class and we played around with watercolors. I think this was also around the time that I started watching art YouTube. So there's Doodle Dade, Casey Golden, um, Mira Byler. Who else did I start watching that did watercolor? Uh, Monique Renee started watching her as well. And just all of the big art channels. Oh, Waffles, Drawing with Waffles, because Waffles was into watercolor for a little while. And I wanted to learn how to paint a galaxy and learn how to paint hair and people. And just, I was so enthralled by the prospect of learning how to do this. So I took about a week in my class and I just painted with watercolor. It was cheap watercolors. I'm not going to lie. It was cheap watercolors. I think I used whatever the school had provided for most of the original illustration. And then eventually, I think after I did this one, I ended up getting watercolors for Christmas. My ori original Windsor Newton sets that I have. The white Cotman set and the uh, travel Cotman set. I don't know if I've ever used the travel one. It's possible that I did in one of my plain air videos. But, uh, so basically what I'm saying is supplies have changed since the original painting was done. And don't worry, there will be a comparison of this versus the original at the end of this video if you stick around. So you can see just how different my style is and how different my painting is. So I want to talk about process on this first before I get into the things that I changed. So I used my normal technique, so I wet the entire paper with a spray bottle of water that I keep around for when I do watercolor. Uh, I went in and immediately started out with doing the uh, base colors for the galaxy. I used cobalt teal, I believe, something like that, or cobalt turquoise. I don't think it's an actual cobalt pigmented paint, it's just the name of the color. Opera rose, probably my Sennelier red, um, one of my Daniel Smith blues, and um, a couple of my... What are they? My Winsor Newton Professional Series paints, which I don't use a lot of. And I kind of swirled them together for my galaxy, which is what I did originally, though, with far fewer colors. Then I went in and I put down my darker tones. So the background is shadow violet, maybe. I don't know. It's the really pretty purpley granulating Daniel Smith color that looks kind of gray, but is actually more of a purpley gray. Uh, I used neutral tint for her shirt, um, something I didn't have the first time around, and uh, amethyst genuine for her eyes because I wanted them to sparkle in a similar way to a galaxy. Uh, I was originally going to also put amethyst genuine in her hair, but decided against it because I didn't want uh, a dark purple to kind of drown out the lighter tones I'd had going. I mixed a skin tone. Uh, I also put down some warm tones underneath for blushing, and that was kind of it for the painting process. It was fairly straightforward and simple. Uh, if you've never painted a galaxy before, I am not the official source on how to do it. There are many ways to paint a galaxy. Mine just happens to be wet the entire area and start putting down colors. Um, one th now that we have talked about the way that I did this, I want to kind of focus on some of the things that are different from the first. One of which being, it's not nearly as splotchy as the original. In the original painting, my galaxy is extremely splotchy. Her shirt is kind of streaky and uncertain, and that could have just been the materials. That could have been me not really knowing what I was doing. It could have been a lot of things, but just technique-wise, I feel like I've gotten a lot better. And that makes me so happy. I mean, I also adjusted colors here and there, so it's not exactly the same colors as the original. I didn't stick with just red, blue, and purple. I added in green and pink and teal, and I, I made it more 
of something I want to look at than just these are the colors that are in galaxies and that's that. So there's that. Uh, another thing is my style has changed significantly since, oh, I guess this piece is from 2018. I'm actually just now looking at when I dated it. So maybe it's from early 2018 then. So around the time I started my channel, but I don't think I recorded this one. I have, I, I think I have pretty vivid memories of painting this in class. So there is no video for the original Galaxy Girl to my knowledge, but it, the style is incredible and given that it's only been a year really now i suppose a year and a half since i painted that piece originally i can't even imagine myself back then being like, like i feel like i would be so impressed with myself with how far i've come 2018 versus 2019 autumn so there there's that uh most noticeable difference is the way i draw the nose um, her eyes are, I wouldn't say significantly smaller, but they're smaller in a way. They're not as tall and wide. The bases are closed, which is something that I just recently started doing this year. Uh, the hair is more of a defined shape, which I don't know if is necessarily what I wanted to go for in the original, but it's what I did for this one because I felt it fit better. Uh, and then there's the anatomy things that I've fixed finally. Her shoulders are not just flat shelves uh, and are have a slight slope to them, are actually around as big as they should be. I'm not going to say it's perfectly correct. It's cartoony, so it doesn't have to be. But it, it's close enough to correct that you wouldn't notice that they were slightly bigger, slightly smaller than they should be. But... Um, her ears, I actually drew out her ears on this one. In the original, I just kind of covered her ears, which is something I'm noticing I did a lot in older drawings and illustrations. I don't know why. Ears aren't that difficult. They're literally just kind of blobs on the side of your head. So, and it doesn't really matter how you draw them in your style because it, as long as you put like lines inside, you kind of know their ears. So there's that. The, I think the main difference um, between the two is, um, just the vibrancy of the colors. And I know the other one's been kind of sitting around in, uh, in my portfolio for a year or so, but I recently took it out and it's just, it's very desaturated and it might just be the way that I painted originally, but her skin tone is extremely pale. Her eyes are super pale. The colors in the galaxy are pale. The black that I use to try and like make it look like space is pale. The white that I used for uh, the stars is pale. I mean, I know I used a different technique for the stars on that one. Uh, I used a toothbrush and white acrylic, which is normally what I would do. But I was really liking the way that this was coming out and I didn't want to ruin it by getting splatters everywhere. So I instead opted to use my gel pens and I put silver and gold and uh, white little dots everywhere, kind of varying the sizes I went. So that way it wasn't overwhelming and it didn't get on her, which happened in the original. I also used the gel pens for highlights, which I didn't do in the original, which is weird looking to me because I'm so used to it. Also, eyebrows. Can we, can we talk about how weird and tiny the eyebrows are on the original? Like, I get I was developing my style, but why would I ever do eyebrows that way? They're just kind of lines. They're like fuzzy caterpillars on her face, and it's weird. And I mean, I get my eyebrows aren't tiny. I don't do tiny eyebrows very much. But, like, questioning why I thought those were valid eyebrows. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I feel like the only part that hasn't changed is the lips, but even that's changed because I draw them slightly differently. I do the mouth slightly differently now. And I just feel like materials wise, I have improved in that sense. I have better materials and a better understanding of my materials. So there's, there's that. I don't know if there's much else for me to talk about other than I really like how the new one came out. 
I feel like it really speaks to the way that I paint now, but also is similar enough to the old that you can kind of see what I was going for. Oh, uh, last thing that I changed. I put a white outline around her because uh, I was finding that I was having a little bit more trouble with some of the more spreading colors, such as the Opera Rose and the uh, Sennelier Red. They like to spread a lot, so I kind of go in around her with a white gel pen and clean up the edge around her because uh, I was working wet paint next to wet paint so I didn't want them to mingle even though that happened anyways so that is the only reason that she has the white border is I was having no patience for waiting for all of the paint to dry because it's a lot of paint and I only had so much time to work on this so there's that so thank you guys so much for watching this and hanging out with me today uh, if there's any other old pieces you'd like to see me redo, I know we're coming up on some of the older pieces that I like to do every year. So Winter Girl should be coming up in January. And I think there's a Halloween character that I did that I want to redraw for October. I want to make stickers out of her eventually. I don't think I've ever shown that character on the channel, but I like her. She's adorable. So we will see about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye everyone. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there, and if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone!